Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. I hope that everybody has had a great week and you've gotten your weekend off to a great start. I am not going to be long. I'm just stopping by because I'm excited. I want to bring you guys up to date on a project that's been in the work for a while and kind of hit a couple of hiccups. Uh, first of all, look, no matter how many times this happens for me, and this is number 23 and number 24 is already on deck but this is book number 23 um merging souls uh healing hope and restoration in modern marriage it is a follow-up to my fourth book which was uh when your house is not a home dealing with conflict in the marriage um, and I'm really excited about it. No matter how many times this happens, I am equally excited when it happens because I was a person told that my first book wouldn't get published. And here I am about with 23, about to do 24. Uh, within a month, uh, 24 will be released. 23 was a challenge. Uh, there were a lot of formatting issues. There's still a few mistakes in, uh, in formatting not much we got a lot of stuff worked out but the whole covid thing and uh short staffing and with printing and everything like that has really created a hiccup so for the people who pre-ordered i definitely apologize uh your books are going out uh starting today uh so within the coming week you guys will have yours anyone else who orders now the book is you know on deck so it, it's going out in a couple of days from the day you order it at the most um, and so I just wanted to bring that to your attention. But merging souls to me takes the discussion of modern marriage to an entirely uh, different level. Moving beyond the superficial ideas of romance, ideas of quote unquote being in love, all the other things, it, it, visited, it visits the cosmic, spiritual, uh, divine uh, nature and essence of marriage. Uh, what makes a strong marriage? What causes problems within the marriage beyond the things that most people ever even give consideration to? It is a must read for people who are planning to get married, people who are married now, definitely people who are married and, and experiencing some challenges and some difficulties. I incorporated the principles and ideas of when your house is not a home, dealing with conflict in this book. So it's not required that you go read When Your House Is Not a Home to get caught up. Uh, you can get it all in this one book. Uh, I am just wanting to offer something uh, to the world that can help them understand where they're at and truly give a real specific uh, definition uh, to what marriage really is and how marriage functions and plays such a major role. It is the institution through which everything erupts from uh, the family comes from the marriage from that the perpetuation of ideals and values and interests and principles pushed down through generations through the family but it starts with the marriage and so i'm excited about it if you have an artist or a copy here's a chance to get your copy uh, if you order today it'll be out next week I'm just really excited. Like I said, I've done this uh, now 23 times, and it's the same level of excitement for me uh, because my work is my passion. And, you know, not everybody gets to work in their area of passion, and I do, so it's really exciting to me. So if you haven't got it, get it. On that note, I'm out here. As I always say, I live my life on full. So that when I leave this place, I die on eat. That's the same challenge I'm presenting to you. On that note, I'm out here. You guys have an unbelievable day.